Hey, boys and girls. What do you think that I might be getting ready to do? Well, you guessed it. I'm getting ready to go fishing. Have you ever gone fishing before? Having fun fishing? How many times this week have you been fishing? Three? Have you caught any fish? One? You caught two fish? Did you use any bait? You used a jig? How many times y'all been fishing this week? Three or four? Like five. Three. No, not that many. How many fish have you caught? Like six. No, ten. Ten? Ten. Really? Yeah. You sure about that? I got a big bass. You did? Four pounder. What kind of, do you use bait? Uh, I use a jig head. Okay, have you ever been fishing? Yes. Did you like it? Yes. What kind of bait did you use? Rubber worms. Did you use any live bait? Yeah. What kind? Uh, like frog frogs. Like what? Wax worms. Some wax worms? Did you catch any fish with them? Yeah. Are you the one that usually gets the first dollar for the first fish? Yes. Because yeah. we fish it. And I catch the catfish. And I and I use it with, with a fishing pole. And I... And I and I catched it with slimy stuff, slimy worms. Was it awesome? Yeah. Do you want to go again? Mm-hmm. Do you want Dad to put the bait on your legs? No. I have many, 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 many times. I love to go fishing. When you go fishing, what kind of bait do you use? Well, lots of people use different, different types of bait. If you're a sports fisherman, they use all kinds of different spinner baits and I don't even know all of what they use. Some people, a lot of people I know, like to use these things that you can find right in your front yard. You know what that is? It's called a night crawler. A night crawler is another name for a big old nasty <laughs> worm. And Lots of people have caught a lot of fish using these things right here called night crawlers. That's the thing about fishing. Sometimes it can be kind of disgusting. Like once you catch the fish, then you've got to get the hook out of its mouth and that right there, it can stick you, ouch. And then you've got to take the fish and you've got to rip it open. Well, really you take a knife, a sharp knife and rip it open. And then you've got to take and clean it and get all the guts out. Ooh. Our story today is about some men who were fishermen, but they didn't fish for sport and they didn't fish for fun. It was their job. Speaking of jobs, here's a job for you kids at home. We're going to learn a memory verse today. Can you do that? All right, repeat after me. Matthew 4, 19. Matthew 4, 19. And Jesus said to them, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. All right, can we repeat that one more time? Jesus said to them, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. So, I was telling you that there was these fishermen and they didn't do it for fun. It was their job, right? So there was this one time that all these fishermen were out in the boat and it was nighttime and, th and they didn't use the same things that we use to fish with today. They didn't use like a hook with some night crawlers and a fishing pole and take that fishing pole and cast it out and reel it in and cast it out. No, they would take this great big huge net and throw it in the water. Then they would try to scoop up, so the boat as it was going, they would try to scoop up their fish and pull them in with this net. And it took a lot of men to do that because the fish were heavy. Well, they did that over and over 
and over. And can you imagine what it would be like if you went fishing all day long or all night long and didn't catch one single fish? Do you think you might be just a little bit frustrated? I know I would. I probably would never want to go fishing again. But this is what happened. So they go into the shore and they run into Jesus. Okay. Then Jesus speaks to Peter and he says, I want you to take that boat and go back out and cast that net back out. Now, what do you think those guys said when Peter said, hey, let's get back in the boat and do it? They probably said, what? Why? What? We've been doing this all night. We're not going to catch any fish. But that's not what they did. The Bible says they got right back in that boat, went back out into the water. The Bible says that it, they cast the net on the other side of the boat. And do you know what happened? If you've heard this story before, I'll bet you you could tell somebody right now. That's right. They were pulling those fish. It was almost sinking the boat. There were so many fish. They were pulling that fish in. There were so many fish. And that's because Jesus had that power to do it. And do you know what Jesus said? Some very, very powerful, powerful words just then. He told them, he said, come and follow me. Just like the memory verse, Julie said, come and follow me and I will make you fishers of men. So we just learned the story. Let's sing about it. Everybody get your boats out. Peter, James, and John in a sailboat. Peter, James, and John in a sailboat. Peter, James, and John in a sailboat out on the deep blue sea. They fished all night, but they caught no fish. Fished all night, but they caught no fish. Fished all night, but they caught no fish out on the deep blue sea. Here comes Jesus walking on the seashore. Here comes Jesus walking on the seashore. Here comes Jesus walking on the seashore out on the deep blue sea. Cast your nets on the other side. Cast your nets on the other side. Cast your nets on the other side out on the deep blue sea. They caught their nets all full of fishes. They caught their nets all full of fishes. They caught their nets all full of fishes out on the deep blue sea. When we follow Jesus, we also learn how to be fishers of men. So what does it mean to be a fisher of men? Well, instead of catching fish, we're catching people. And we tell people, and how do we do that? We tell people about Jesus so that they want to follow him too. So let's go back to talking about fishing. What do you need to catch fish? Tell the people in your living room, what are some of those things that we talked about? fishing pole. Sometimes we need bait. What kind of bait are you going to use? Lures. Are you going to use corn? Are you going to use night crawlers like the one I showed you earlier? What kind of bait do you use to catch men? Well, the Bible tells us everything we need. We need God's words to help us. That's why I read my Bible every day, because it teaches me, I learn from the life of Jesus, how I can tell other people about how good Jesus was and how he died for us. He died for you, he died for me, he died for everybody that ever lived. And when I tell people about that, I tell them the good news, I'm fishing for men. I want them to follow Jesus also. Now, fishing, it can be fun, but we all know that it can be a little bit messy and whew, smelly. Nothing like a smelly fish. Oh, But when we catch men for Jesus, we don't have to clean them. Nope. Jesus takes care of all of that for us. So let's say a little prayer now and ask God to help us as we try to go and fish for people. Dear Father, help us to become good fishers of men. Help us to be good examples by the way we act and by the things that we say. Help us to tell others all about you and to invite them to church so that they will know you 
and follow you also. Thank you for Jesus that he died on the cross so we can go to heaven with him someday. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. like to eat snacks. I know I do. Well now we're gonna make our own snack that's related to this lesson. What we're gonna make is called dirt and worms. Now who wants to eat some dirt and worms? That probably sounds nasty doesn't it? Well this is going to actually taste really good. Now before you do anything else you need to make sure that you wash your hands and that means with soap and water. All right. Now after you've washed your hands, you're going to need some Ziploc baggies. Really you just need one unless you've got multiple siblings. And then you're going to need some Oreo cookies. We all like some cookies. And some gummy worms. So you'll take about two or three Oreos and put them in the bag. And then you'll seal the bag. Make sure there's no spots. And then you'll take a hammer. Or if you don't have a hammer, you can use a wooden spoon or anything that can smash something. And here's what you're going to do to make some dirt. You're just going to go crumble it all up. Make, make sure that it's all, all crushed up. Look at that. We've got dirt. Now we can take and open up the bag and put two gummy worms in there so they have a place to live in the dirt. And there you go. We've made dirt and worms. And you can eat it.